Hey guys, welcome to the News Fuse. I'm Mackenzie. And I'm Madison. And today we're eating M&M's with three chopsticks. Better take your vitamin C and wash your hands. I'm sure you've heard the coronavirus is causing quite the scare worldwide. But did you know that the coronavirus is actually very common? In fact, two strains of human coronaviruses are responsible for a large portion of the common colds we have today. In December 2019, though, a new strain started circulating, causing the disease COVID-19, which can be deadly for those with weak immune systems. Experts across the world are working to create a vaccine against COVID-19. And while it usually takes five to 20 years to develop vaccines, the National Institute of Health says they are expecting this vaccine to be ready in 12 to 18 months. Whether this becomes a pandemic or not, the effect it has on the economy will be hard to miss. People are panicking, selling stocks and buying gold, trips are being postponed, conferences rescheduled, schools closed, and basketball games without the March Madness crowds. I almost got my m and Let's just look at one area. Isaac Larian, the founder and CEO of MGA Entertainment, the company that accounts for more than 80% of all global toy production, says the coronavirus is, quote, more of an economic disaster than a health disaster, end quote. Production of his toys has dropped 60% in comparison with last year at this time. He says Christmas toys are usually shipped over from China in April, but the coronavirus has made that unrealistic this year. Real estate under the 2020 family Christmas tree might look a little sparse because of it. Zoom <laughs> in on the <laughs> in between, please. The San Pedro Bay Port Complex in Los Angeles accounts for up to 40% of all imported goods coming into the U.S. They have seen 20 to 25% less cargo in February 2020 than in February 2019. Financial advisors are suggesting to work on your savings account to be able to compensate for increased prices, but we have a problem. The average debt of the millennials ages 25 to 34 is 42,000. We're not necessarily prepared to set up a savings account at the moment. Okay. I'm using oh, all oh, three. Dude, that been <laughs> Moving on. Super Tuesday happened and that just happened. Two candidates came out with a strong enough leave to join in on the next Democratic debate scheduled for March 15th. Either Joe Biden and, or Bernie Sanders are looking to become the Democratic candidate who faces President Trump in the 2020 November elections. Joe Biden has tried to join in on the progressive movement with his campaign slogan, our best days are still ahead. Meanwhile, Bernie Sanders, a self-proclaimed socialist, insists that unity will fix all of our problems through his slogan, not me, us. He'd like to take everything from everyone to make everyone a just a big, happy, equal, fair, peace-filled family. <laughs> and finally, can I say the tornado in Nashville is ending this segment on a good note? No. However, it does show us when push comes to shove, people are able to put aside the arguments and hatred that comes with differences. Politics, money, stress about the news, economy, self-fulfillment, coronavirus, it all takes the back burner while acts of kindness take priority. All of a sudden, prayers start happening. People who never seem to notice God before post pray for Nashville on their social media. People who had forgotten about the importance of community find support in neighbors they never talked to. A life too busy to show love comes to a stop for just a moment as we all are reminded to look around and be thankful for the blessings we have. So hey, take some time, keep kindness and thankfulness as top priorities when you're having discussions regarding what's important to you. You'll probably come across those with differing viewpoints. They're people just like you. So thanks for listening to the News Views. I'm Mackenzie. And I'm Madison, signing off. So just a shameless plug on our merchandise, Madison and I are gonna show you what <laughs> to <laughs> Hats look like this is actually Jacob's favorite hat. We have a freedomist question wrapping up this video. How did the coronavirus affect you and your plans for the future? I mean, are you dead? <laughs> Let us know in the comments. Just Here. forget about the chopsticks, Madison. I love them. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook.